Good afternoon. Welcome to Murray Chiropractic Center. I'm going to talk to you about chiropractic and epilepsy today. You probably did not know that chiropractic can help with epileptic seizures. Absolutely it can because there is a relationship in some cases between seizures and spinal misalignment or subluxation. So I'm going to talk to you today about chapter six in my book, Keeping Health Simple. It's called Chiropractic Miracle, and I always hesitate to call it a miracle because this is what we do every day. We work with the spine to make sure that it's in its proper alignment, to make sure that the body is functioning properly. So when I was an intern at Parker University, I actually got to be a part of this case uh, just observing a young girl who fell off a bed when she was six years old and bumped her head and uh, actually landed on her head and started having seizures immediately afterwards. She was taken to the emergency room and they did x-rays. They didn't see any fracture. They didn't see any problem. It's just classified as a freak accident, acute onset epilepsy. And she had the seizures ever since. And that was going on for about three years until she entered into Dr. James Bridges' office. He's a chiropractor in Dallas, Texas. And her mom brought her in after three years of having these seizures, she was on so much medication that she was actually in a wheelchair. She couldn't walk because the medication was so heavy and so powerful that she had basically lost all voluntary motor control. So long story short, Dr. Bridges took an x-ray and found out that there was actually a misalignment in her second vertebra. Her second bone in her neck was putting pressure on the spinal cord. So he adjusted her and that first day she started to raise her arm and her mom started crying because that was the first time that she had done anything in like six months. Within seven days, the young girl was actually walking and within a month she was reducing her seizure medication because she wasn't having seizures anymore. So what happened when she fell off the bed is she twisted the second bone in her neck and it put pressure on the nervous system. So the body knew that wasn't right and it needed to be corrected, but it didn't know how to do it itself. That's why you need a chiropractor to put the spine back in line. So unfortunately the medical doctors missed the misalignment. They didn't see the misalignment on the x-ray because that's not what they're looking for because they're not specialists in the spine. Chiropractors are. So even a millimeter can be a big deal as far as spinal alignment and subluxation is concerned. So if you know anyone that has epilepsy that suffers from seizures, it would behoove you and them to recommend that they go see a chiropractor and get their spine evaluated for subluxation. Okay? I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, you can check me out on my website, www.thechiropractor.sa.com. This is a little bit about chiropractic and epilepsy, how it can help people to function at 100%. A small caveat to that, chiropractors don't treat diseases. Chiropractors don't treat epilepsy. Chiropractors make sure the spine is in a line so that the body can function as close to 100% as is possible. Okay, again, any questions? Reach out to me on my website, www.thechiropractor.sa.com or my Facebook page, Murray Chiropractic Center. Love you guys.